Welcome back. As you know, we're discussing this year's Pirelli Bike of the Year competition. And in the last part of the show, we went through sixth, fifth and fourth places, which brings us to the very important topic of the top three. But before we get to that, a couple of the bikes that made my top six, Donovan, mm -hmm. they didn't make the top six overall. And I'm talking particularly of the Ducati Scrambler and the Indian Scout, both of which I thought. Yeah, I think, well, Ducatis in general, I mean, some uh, something for Ducati to brag about is the fact that all three of their eligible bikes made yeah. into the finals. There are some manufacturers that are not here at all. None of their bikes yes. even made it to the finals. It's the only manufacturer where all of the eligible bikes actually made it in, and yet none of them made it into the top no, six. That's very true. None of them made it top six. Yeah. So we had the Scrambler, we had the new Multistrada, with a lovely piece of kit, and then, I mean, the it's hard to believe, the Panigale, Panigale. S, the 1299 Panigale. version. I think if it was just you and I voting, I think we would see more Ducatis. Yes, we, we are quite spot, we are uh, quite sympathetic to Ducati, but well, this is the, this is the range of voters we have. Hey, yeah, and uh, surprisingly, I put the Ducati Scrambler ahead of the Panigale in my list. What a lovely Me piece too, of kit, yeah. value for money. Oh, it's lovely. I'm I'm just so disappointed it didn't make. And, and in fact, I'm even more disappointed. I think that the Indian Scout didn't make Indian it. Scout, well, in, in one of the American Bike of the Years, it was actually voted as top ahead of the R1, H2, all of those things. It just says something. Eh? It does. It, it shows you what a great bike. And it is a great bike. It's an affordable way to get into Indian. It looks fantastic, sounds fantastic. It makes knocking on 100 horsepower, which for a cruiser is oh, a yeah. lot, as you found out on Long Tom Pass. He ran out of ground clearance. Yeah. Well, well, what's it? The foot pig is that, is that it was long. that long. It was that long. <laughs> and then you turn, you get it on the deck, and you think, this is lovely, and the corner starts tightening on you. And you go, Ugh. I could hear him screaming from <laughs> way back. Um, yeah, so Indian Scout, Ducati Scrambler. I think, though, Donovan, that just shows the nature of the South African judging panel as well, though. Yeah. Like you said, in America, they made, hey, guess what, an American cruiser American the winner cruiser, here. Yeah. It's not I a feel, big I feel thing. that in Italy, oh, there'd be Ducati Scrambler everywhere, yes, wouldn't there? Or at I least think, Panigale. And I think if you looked at the German Motor Rad magazine, there's a good chance they're probably going to make the S-Double R or something. Yeah. yeah, OK, well, listen, let's get back to the top three. Now, the judging went a little bit weird here, or the final vote, so I think what we'll do is announce the second place bike, which caught a lot of us by surprise. There's no beating around the bush. It's Triumph's 800cc Tiger XCX. Now, that's the dual purpose on off-road one. 21 inch front wheel, 21 -inch lots front of suspension. Wheel. Second place overall in the company of such fine machines. Now, I can't argue against it. Believe it or not, it got more outright votes for the overall win from the judges, I think six, yeah. compared to the bike that actually won. It got five. Yeah. Awesome bike, nice to ride, handles very well. Uh, suspension, excellent in the corners, twisties. You can keep your speed going through the uh, corners and all that. Awesome little bike. But um, it just shows something about South Africa. This is what we are, this is what we like. We like this sort of thing. And even though this was the off-road version and we didn't actually take it off-road, people still loved it. I mean, well done, Triumph. Yeah, well done, Triumph. It is a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, on a personal level, again, and it, uh, this is the thing with a panel of judges, the overall result does yeah. not reflect what you I think it was just us two, it would be six <laughs> super bikes. Well, what is the most horsepower? Put them in. Well, it didn't work out like that. The Triumph, very good bike. I'm a little bit surprised that it came above the Super Adventure, which is a totally yeah, new model. Yeah, but I think, okay, again, this is a very uh, competitive market, especially that big uh, adventure bike. And we mentioned bike. how expensive the KTM is, and, yeah. and the Triumph is great value what, for money. 140 or yeah, so, yeah. it's a lot of bike for the money. Yeah. So, now we know that Triumph's Tiger has come in second, which leaves two bikes, the first and third places. And the winner is... I'm not going to tell you actually yet, I'm going to make you wait because we need to say thank you to the people who made this happen. That's obviously Pirelli to, be, to begin with. They've got tyres for, well, all the different categories of bikes. Good rubber too. Let's have a quick listen to Wayne Doran, who's the chief marketing dude for a Pirelli here in South Africa. Um, this little project goes back about four and a half years ago, uh, over a number of years. Matt came up with a dilly project of wanting to run Bike of the Year. And, uh, I saw some value in that. Now, for our brand, we very premium, we OE on most of your products, and uh, we can see the alignment there, but being, in terms of being involved with Formula One, with World Superbikes, it was a project that I thought could do us proud in terms of showing off the range of product we have. 
it wasn't just Pirelli. We had TomTom Tom on board as well, and they provided us with uh, their rider navigation system, which meant no journalist got lost at all. But perhaps the best thing, Donovan, oh, yeah. was their new Bandit camera. What I love about that is the way you edit. I mean, you push a whole lot of buttons while you're riding in your favorite bits. Then you take your phone, you give it a shake, and it edits it all together. Yeah, into a minute's highlights video, which is great. You know what it's like with highlights yeah. video. Well, with it's, on board, you never watch it. It's lovely again. because we've saved a stack of money because this whole show is edited by shaking our phone. Yes, I know. Bye-bye cameraman and bye-bye editor. He's behind the camera and he hasn't got a smile on his face. <laughs> we had other sponsors, Liqui Molly, that's lubricants yeah. and visor cleaners, that the, sort of the, thing. The bugs were out to mass this. I don't they know were. what happened. They were saying, hey, it's warm, let's come out. So there were just bugs everywhere. And every time you had to stop, Liqui Molly, clean visor, Perfect. Perfect. Off you go. It does make life very easy. And we also had Total, which, is, which you which may is, not yeah. know what it is. It's actually Total. Total garages, yeah, but it, what is fridge, so you pronounce it Total. total. Great fuel, got detergents in, got friction agents in there, so very good for your bike. And the nice thing is, often at Total garages, there's good nosh, mug and bean oh, and that yeah. sort of thing. Not that we obviously look like that we need any more food. Okay, we're going to take an ad break, and I promise you this time we'll be back with the winner. <laughs> 